first episode of Just Turned 18. It's a show designed to test the pulse of uh, first-time voters in this upcoming election. Now, of course, uh, from tomorrow, uh, a, a registration exercise will begin. That's mm -hmm. the opportunity for a lot of these young people to get yeah. their names onto the ballot. Uh, but they are already raising some issues uh, around it. Let's let's talk about solutions. Uh, we're joined over the phone by Joyce Nyame. She's a programs manager at Youth Bridge Foundation. Joyce, what a pleasure to have you on the show. Good morning. Hi, good morning. It's a pleasure as well. So I noticed that a lot of a lot of the young people uh, are concerned about the process, the tedium of the process, having to queue behind stones and chairs, stand in the hot sun just to get their names on the voters' roll. I mean, this is a reality. It happens to all of us. But what what's the way around it? How can we ensure that young people don't get put to too much inconvenience that might end up discouraging them from uh, exercising their civic duty? Thank you very much for this opportunity. And I would like to say uh, congratulations to Joey for this initiative. I think this aligns to what the British Foundation has been doing over the years to ensure that, as he said, young people are not discouraged from the process that leads to election. So one, as a country, I think we need to have a conversation around making sure that young people are on the tables when it comes to these processes. So for instance, as you said, we are going to start the voter registration. How are we ensuring that the time, the values are convenient to young people. And even the information back to them to know that this is the period for which they should be able to join the process to be able to uh, be eligible to vote. And then also, how do we make sure that the information around the process are in a way that these people can assess? So we are not just about um, English language, but in other formats that young people and even young persons with disability can also assess. So there, there is a need for a whole inclusivity and also responsiveness when it comes to these processes so young people can assess them. Mm. Do you find that the authorities are alive to these, these concerns and are designing solutions to them? Um, I would say yes and no, because as you know, this... Uh, voter registration, the EC is making efforts to reach young people in the tertiary institutions. So there are uh, um, provisions made for uh, in-school registration, I mean, on the tertiary schools. But when we say young people, we are not just looking at the people in the tertiary schools, that is the in-school youth. There are other people outside this group of people. So how do we make sure that even the person in the community, and then we also want to applaud the EC that it is also making efforts to reach the people, um, what they call the far to rich areas. We applaud that. But there is a need for more efforts to make sure that most of the young people are rich in this area. Right. Uh, but we're also, in, uh, obviously, tomorrow is, uh, is, is the start of the you know, registration exercise. Well, what what can Youth Bridge Foundation focus on in order to uh, improve the the chances of young people actually, you know, taking up this civic duty of theirs? Okay, thank you very much, Kojo. So um, when you mentioned that a young person has stated he's not going to register because now he has a Ghana card, I I I was just smiling. This is the it's a call for the fact that there is a need for conscious effort when we are creating content and messaging around some of these things. So uh, if we are going to have um, a registration exercise of this sort, I mean, the conversation historically has been, as a young person, when you get to 18, register, you get a voter ID, as an identification card before the bit about voting comes in. So based up in your mind, you need to register to get your voter's ID and get an identity, identity as a guy. So there's a need for us to change the messaging. So what we do mostly in the UJ Foundation is the fact that we mobilize these young people, raise awareness on the need for them to participate in this exercise as one, as um, we are, as being nationalistic, 
in the country. It's not just about getting an identity, but if it's something that is going on and you need to participate as a young person. Two, we need to let them be involved. If I say involved, not just going to them with the messaging, but letting them understand that this is for you. How do we make sure that we reach you? How do we make sure you understand the issues that you are bringing on board? So, um, as I initially said, give the foundation every election year and then ahead or before, after every election year, we make sure that we inspire or ignite the passion among young people to be part. So it's not just about getting the identity as a Ghanaian, but you are excited to vote for the first time. You are excited. So we, we, we use words like you are a king maker because your vote counts. Then people are excited to be part of the processes. So there is a way for us to make them part of the processes and enjoy and be inspired to go and register to vote, not just have the identity card. Your efforts are crowned with a good out, uh, outcome. Kath Kathleen, do you have a target? I mean, are you, are, as, uh, you know, 